Before I was known for my expertise as a financial budget manager, I was world renowned for my skills in wasp nest removal. Here's a video of me removing the world's largest wasp nest just seconds before they would have engulfed the entire world. I've long since retired from that life and the people I worked with, but even years after my retirement I'm haunted by a developed phobia of wasps and hornets caused by the horrors that I experienced in my past. I had hoped to leave my past behind me for good, but two months ago a nest popped up in my yard, the biggest one I've seen to date. I immediately began conjuring a plan to destroy the nest with today's modern technology instead of risking my own life and mental health. And now, just a few feet from this horrific force of nature, separated by only a thin wall, I assemble my weapon. And I would say I agree. Which is why I've invested in military technology and my dream car. I'm always talking about it. You guys have been listening to me. Always talk about how I want a Lamborghini. All right, this is way bigger than I thought it was. I don't want a Lamborghini anymore. You know what, it's fine. <laughs> Ever since I got that Lamborghini, my channel's falling apart. <clears throat> what are we doing with this Lamborghini, you might ask? Basically gonna mount this full auto, uh, YouTube friendly alarm clock on top of this, which is remote controlled. There's motors in it, you can ride in it. It's, I mean, it's an actual Lamborghini. Um, and we're gonna just remote drive it outside. I have a bunch of like servos and stuff. I have the slightest idea what a servo is. Basically, I've got like, this is gonna be remote controlled. The turret's gonna shoot remote controlled in Italy. And, and I'm gonna mount this on it so that we can see what's going on. And we're just gonna demolish that wasp's nest. Now, before you, get a little angry at me for abusing bugs. Hey, they hurt me sometimes. I don't like it. I don't, I'm gonna stand up for myself or I'm gonna have this stand up for myself for me. Batteries, because if the turret gun doesn't work, we're gonna light a few of these on fire and throw them over by the nest. Just kidding, they're for the turret to run the turret. Or no, this isn't a funny gauge anymore. Uh. It's like 4.30. I do have a little experience in car assembly. As an extra bonus with this specific Lamborghini trim package, you actually get a steering wheel with it. It's got a couple fake buttons on it, so some people might call it a bit of a fake button vehicle. Why does it have an aux cable? I don't know, I don't know if the joke has landed yet, but this isn't a real car. What is this, a rocket? Jet powered Lamborghini, let's go. It's got a USB port an SD card port, and a headphone jack. So I could I could just actually drive this to work. I mean, it's from my room to this room, so it, I literally could. The wheels say Ev to lie, which is German for Lamborghini. All right, we're going to need a spanner. I have never heard of a spanner. Step one. Bop it. Slide the gearbox onto the rear axle. Rear? No, I should have ordered a spanner. Okay, we're good, never mind. My hand is a spanner. That's why they call me spa spanner banana. I actually did work in a Bentley factory for a few years. I mean, this is a Lambo, so it doesn't matter, but I did, I do have some experience with this. Oh, no, 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 no. This wheel. I forgot that, I, I haven't been, like I say, it's been a few years since I worked there. Oh. Mm-hmm, hear that supercharger winding up? It's got a B for be free, Lamborghini owner. I think this is getting funnier the more I talk about it. I know a lot of people were probably gonna be really upset that I spent money on something that wasn't like video game related, video game controller. For one thing, killing these wasps allows me to continue to live my life, that of which sometimes I, I do those. I do play video games, but it does come with a controller. Did you hear something? I didn't hear anything. I do want to somewhat apologize. Like the premise of this video, just flexing my car on everyone. Because I'm sure I've gone on record several occasions talking about how much I can't stand when people do that on Twitter. Like, like I feel like a lot of YouTubers don't realize that you can like have something cool happen in your life or get something you think is cool or do something that you think is cool and not tell the internet about it. So anyway, 
tune in next week when I continue to brag on Twitter about things I make out of wood. Listen, I can have a belief system and also fail to follow it on occasion, all right? Unless you're a perfect human being, that's what having a belief system is. My plan is going perfectly. Now I can seem self-righteous and tell people what they should and shouldn't do on the internet without following the rules myself. Yes, I'm running out of things to talk about while I'm putting together my Toyota Celica. I can't believe there's a blank switch. Like for this Hyatt trim package, you'd think we'd be past that by now. It's getting closer. It's not quite five yet though. We're missing a uh, one three quarters of an inch bungalina. All right, we need to get this tripod on here. Ooh, that That's probably the best way. Charger, Chargor, Charmander, and it's probably turret time. Oh, yeah. Always get a car lift. All right, I'll mess with that more later. Excuse me, sorry. Personal space, I know. Segment two, readying the turret. I think I had a transition, yeah. That works. Uh, sticker level. Yeah, yeah, I kind of ran out of ideas for this thing pretty quick. All right, it's pretty nifty looking. It's kind of like you do like this and then all your enemies are dead. I get a lot of people asking me if I actually have a job outside of internet stuff. And I mean, I already talked a little bit about the Bentley assembly, but I also have five years of experience at the N-Strike factory. Um, I actually got to design this gun. You won't find me credited on the box or anything, but I actually, I did design this and I took a lot of inspiration from the, uh, the Desert Eagle. You can kind of see it's got the general shape and the, the rubber capacitors that the Deagle had as well. Pretty cool, but I didn't feel the need to brag about it on the internet. And now I'm, I'm just telling you guys, it's not that cool. I'm just kind of telling you in passing during a video but not really treating it like a big deal. So it's not really me like bragging about it. I'm going to kill so many bugs. Sorry, I'm gonna break their nest and they're gonna be fine because it's a Nerf gun. The car is fully remote controlled, but this thing is not. You need to push down on this for it to fire. Ooh, this has a V8 as well? This is a motor, it's a twisty motor. It'll twist and push this down. How I'm, I haven't really figured out exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. First, we need to hook this up to this, I think. I don't know what I'm doing. I got a comment the other day, and it was something like, I love how this guy knows how unfunny he is, and right away I was, I mean, I'm a YouTuber, so right away I was like offended by it, and I was like, oh, that sucks. And then I'm like, it's literally how I portray myself in every instance of my life. How hard can it be? There's two plugs here, one's red, one's not, so the black one probably goes in the one that's red. Ha <laughs> ha. Awesome. Consider yourself stripped. That is my new catchphrase. Okay. That's how I think it goes, and I'm just gonna ask some people on Twitter because I don't know for a fact and I'm not very confident. My life is currently in the hands of... you morons. All right, I've been told of a different way to do it. Do I trust this person? All right, going for it. This is the way I assumed it to be done, but then I watched a video and the video confused me. So whoever made that video, stupid. Should be a full circuit here. If this works, this should spin. Thank goodness. It's a little bit nerve wracking. Oh boy. Shout outs to that guy. Low key, he's kind of a mechanic. That's it, you get, for your trouble, you get a pun, a horrible pun from me. I'm gonna put all these components on the gun. After that debacle, I need to throw out a quick apology to all the people who knew exactly how I should have done it and saw me almost do it wrong based on a video that I watched that was using a different combination of switch and battery. I am so sorry that you were screaming at the top of your lungs and are probably gonna leave a comment. In fairness, this is how I originally thought you should do it. But then I thought, ah, you know, I better consult some a YouTube video, some experts about it. And they, they screwed me up. I probably looked at the wrong YouTube video, but they screwed me up. And then I asked random morons on Twitter, genius morons, and and that and that works. Don't you don't you be giving me no you stupid because I I knew I was stupid. And so I went and I asked the experts and the experts were wrong. Now the problem is how do I mount this so that the motor pushes this in? 
It's a snug fit, which is good. That's what we wanted. So this should. Awesome. Is it strong enough to push this down? No. The motor were just a little stronger. It could probably push it down. And I have two sets of motors and two remotes and two switches and two battery packs. I don't have enough batteries, though, is the thing. I gotta go to the store for a video. Uh, got myself some batteries. Take this, and now with the magic of video editing, I will snap my fingers and we'll be at the end. This is a cool new gag I thought up. Okay, hot glue is generally dry. It's time to test this thing out. I know it looks horrible and awful and I could have made like some kind of plastic clamps or leave me be. It is specially rigged right now so it takes very little presser, press, presser, pressure to push it down. So we're just gonna have to send it out there and hope it works. It's gonna have to stay at this angle. But it does aim forward and it does shoot. Probably, well, we'll, we'll see about the second part. I'm gonna mount this on here so that I can actually see where I'm shooting from inside. I can watch it on my phone. Oh, I should probably turn it on. Oh, we're gonna need a lot of ammo. These are some really big nests, I'm telling you. We need at least enough firepower to be able to take down like a human child. And by take down, I mean like just knock them over. Small boo-boo. There might be several attempts that go wrong, trial and error with this trigger mechanism. As long as this car continues to work and I can remote control it from in the house, we'll be okay for the most part. Do we just destroy stuff now? I think we do. Let me just step in real quick. All right, I'm going outside. I'm going to die. All right, we have connection. It's not great, but it does work. The car is driving. Kind of watching out the window here too. I can see they're getting a little bit frustrated. Okay, that's pretty good aim. Connection please. The wasps, they're killing my connection. They're destroying the GoPro. Oh, they're getting upset. All right. We're firing. I don't think it's firing. The remotes are not responding. All right, abort. I need to recenter the turret and the remotes. Ah, oh, we've lost the gun. No! I'll be right back. The turret has been remounted. Connection is still available. We're going for another attempt. They're very upset. I've angled the gun a little bit. Oh, well, that's it right there. Okay, if we can, if we can just, if we just get this darn thing to fire, and this stupid concept might actually work. Back it up, attempt three. We're just gonna, I'm, I'm just gonna have to be there. All right, I'm taking my stuff. I'm going outside. I'm gonna pull the trigger down and then duct tape it down and hope that by the time I get it duct taped down and drive over there, there's still enough ammo left to demolish this thing. And I'm gonna have to be close enough for these remotes to work. So basically, this is my last video. I'm going to die. <laughs> nice of the princess to invite... As we speak, I've initiated second murder protocol. High, high, high powered sprinkler of 10,000 10, vigilowatts is demolishing the nest. And I've sustained zero stings. So this was horrible success because this was literally last resort effort. I don't think the car is gonna survive. 
It's going to be a lot of water damage to the electronics, so we'll see. 